you know, you saw Scrotox Talks here first, guys. <laughs> that is true. Well, I mean, the obvious question is, I mean, as people want to know, come on, Shaw's season 10, what is going on? I know. So you obviously know that Bravo has to announce everything, but if I said we were not going to start filming soon, I'd be lying. <laughs> did I say that in the negation too much or does it make sense? Soon. Meaning soon. soon. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we want to hear. We want soon. Very soon. Well, I like that. <laughs> Why do you think that Shaw's is, you know, like it was really an instant hit. Like, what do you think it is? I mean, do you think it's like, to your point before, I think Tommy, you were making like, you are a real group of people, fights, not fights. You actually really know each other for a very, very long time. The show is not cast by randoms. I mean, do you think that's part of like why the show is such a hit? What? Uh, sorry. The yeah, I, I think that outside. Oh, they're not randoms. Got it. Yeah, I think the fact that they all know each other. I think that the fact that they're all Persian, um, you know, because they they're very they're they're like Italians in a lot of ways. I grew up in an Italian neighborhood, and they're very loud. They're very boisterous. You know what I mean? And everything's over the top. You know, and they're very much like that. And where else did you get to see that on a television? You know, and a um, soap opera. It's like it's like a Persian, Italian, Latin soap opera. Like all the all the cultures relate. No matter what country in the world you're from, you relate to someone like my mom. Someone you know, everyone's got you know um, a gay best friend, brother, cousin, um, a struggling single girl like me who I whatever I was going through, you know, hoping not to become you know. Um, a train wreck. And at the end of the day, I think I definitely did not. <laughs> no. Well, since you say that, you know, Shaw's is probably, even though Bravo needs to announce it, going to start filming soon. Do you miss like that filming when you're not there? I mean, you have your husband, your child, you have your real estate, all your other businesses, your podcast, Till the Dirt. Do, like, I, do, I, do, I, feel, do I miss not filming? Yeah. Like when you're not filming, do you miss it? No, because I love our life, whether there's a camera there or not. Um, it seems like the um, the gaps are perfect. It's perfectly timed so that you can be a great full time mom and you know water the plants of other things or seed seed all of the other things in your life. So, if you had a look back to your first season, like what you know would you what advice would you give season one mj make sure that you are always true to yourself which i was always make sure that you can like live with something that you did instead which i did um and you know like again i made mistakes no question about it and i never would want to um we're not we're just not perfect i just think maybe a higher stylist that would be that would have been a good splurge. Did yeah. you well, guys watch? I mean, Tommy, did you watch like the season one, like the seasons you weren't there? Did you? Did no. MJ? No. More, more glam no. too, I, by I, the way. I, I've never seen an episode of Shaw that uh, like you prior to me being on the show. That's a thing. I think that is really annoying is that we didn't do, we're like, we're a lot more like season one OC where you're supposed to just show up and like, I wasn't really that good at my glam, but anyway, you know. You were just fine. And like, listen, I don't like when like you're watching Beverly Hills and Dorit comes down to breakfast and like head to toe bomb on. It's like, sweetie, it's- <laughs> It's ridiculous, it's ridiculous. And then you're gonna post, you know, it's ridiculous. I have the same arguments with her all the time. Like so, so she'll insist that she has to be looked this but way or way. This, and it's like it, it's it's so ridiculous. But it's the standard now. Okay. They've made it so you can't, you know, you have to come down to breakfast and had to tow home on. <laughs> it's just so strange. I'm like, you are not coming down the, tomorrow when there's no cameras here at yeah. 7 a.m. to make breakfast for your kids. Yeah, I yes. like it when Kathy Hilton was like, you're wearing that black glittery Gucci thing just to come in between, you know, for a cup of tea between lunch and dinner. You gotta love, listen, the next season of Beverly Hills, I think is gonna be great. 
Yeah. I actually you, heard from a very reliable source that it's going to be really, really good. Do you have like a favorite show on Bravo besides Shaw's, of course? Yeah, I'm, I'm super into my, um, oh. God. I actually like Blow Deck. You do? Because yeah. our friend Nadine produces it. And, uh, you know, that's, that's all right. Yeah, I'm super into the hot um, captain. That Me too. is really a good choice, Nadine. The She's real good. She's real good at it. The blow well. deck. Yeah, the blow deck Australia with the hot um, yeah. captain. Oof. I think Bravo just now that there's a new one I think Bravo's like no we everyone else is hot usually we just got to get a hot captain it's not that hard to find let's just find it yeah captain Crunch. Cap <laughs> no captain Lee is very handsome for his um age range but like this guy is like 007 he's like a young James Bond mm -hmm. I am loving this one too. And nothing, well, of course, and you know, they say Below Deck is the straight man show. So that's why you like it, Tommy. That's what that's, Look at that. statistically, yeah. that's what the straight men, the straight men that come to Bravo, yeah. this is what they watch. I'm, right now, I'm going to tell you my favorite is Jersey. I love what's happening in New Jersey. I, I know that Margaret Joseph is having a really tough season because she she's just kind of showing a mirror to Jennifer Aiden and Jennifer Aiden is kind of getting like a lot of more sympathy than um, Marsh. And I don't think that's fair, but that's like kind of all in the process. So like you have to, you have to respect how that can change week to week. Are you, so you're team Marge over Jennifer? I am team Marge always because she was in my home. She brought my son an outfit, which is so cute from Kitson that I wish he would still fit into. Um, yeah, we have a good personal relationship. And um, even if we didn't, and I was being totally objective, when you um, when you look back on all of the years when Jennifer Aiden picked on March, I mean, she went in on her, on her marriage, on her past, on her mother, and she was very, very relentless. relentless and now Jen's past is coming back. What did you think was going to happen when you came on a reality show? Um, so, yeah. I'm Margaret's a good friend of mine in the real world too. So I'm supposed to be not biased here, but then I agree. Like I, she's a, as a person, wonderful. So I can't always team Marge. I would agree. Totally. Totally. What is next for you guys before we wrap up? What else do you, what else next for you guys? Besides, I mean, this New York, I'm like, we, I'm, I'm there. I did not know you were coming to New York. So we have to, that's all good. Looking forward so to it. For sure, yeah. So for sure, the biggest passion of our lives right now, other than our son is our Till the Dirt podcast with Tommy and MJ. Um, two dates in New York on May 9th and May 11th at 310 Bowery Bar and Friday, Queens. We also have the YouTube channel. The YouTube 